I don't know. I'll ask you first about Damian Lewis and a lot of talk coming into the year about him being more consistent. He's been a little bit quiet. What have you seen from him uh, after four weeks? Uh, you know what? Uh, he's learning. You know, we, we put him in some different positions. We played him at quarterback a couple of times, and he's taken some brutal hits. <laughs> you know, he just he's got to be able to read his keys. Uh, I think at receivers getting a little bit more consistent. You know, even though he's, uh, you know, at times he ad lives. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he used to. But he's getting he's getting older. He's getting more mature. He's getting better. He's putting himself in better position to catch a ball. You know, playing the same position as Chad, who's having such a big year, is that maybe something to do with it? The fact that more balls are on Chad's way? Than... Well, I think it's a great learning experience for him. You know, he's, he's Chad in front of him, so it's a really good deal for him. I think it's really good for, for Jamie. You know, Dan said uh, Malcolm Johnson's still questionable, but if he can play and really just going forward the rest of the season, how important is he to some oh, of the things you can do? Extremely important. I mean, I, you know, I think he was a big part of our offense last year. And, you know, he's proven that, so, you know, we just got to get him healthy and get ready to go. Are there things that really only he can do, at well, least right now? Yeah. You know, it depends well, not, if he's not for him right now, but it depends if he's healthy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think that's a big question. Yeah. Uh, when he comes back and, you know, how he reacts to practice and stuff like that, I think that's really big. Is it easy to, you know, fans and media, including guys like us, to get lost in the stats? With Kentucky, their team is giving up a lot of rushing yards. They did the same last year. You guys threw the ball very well and only rushed for 130. What, is this defense similar to last year? What do you see on top? Uh, yeah, I think it's the same defensive coordinator, so it's very similar. Uh, you know, I think last year we caught them off guard. We came in and, uh, you know, they were expecting us to run, and we threw the ball. And, uh, you know, we'll find out what happens this week. <laughs> A lot of good tape to look at, though. Yeah, there's, there, there is. there's a lot of good tape to look at last year and this year. Uh, they played some tough tough people now. You know, Tyler coming off a couple games he's had, you know, confidence-wise, I mean, Kentucky game last year was one of his better games. Do you think there's something to that that he can draw some experience from that game being there? I'll let you know if you practice. <laughs> it's one of those deals. Yeah. Uh, see how he practices and see how he goes through. But how's he, how's he been the last you know, week and the bye week? Good. You know, getting he's been good. You know, we've, we've, we've kept him out of a couple things. Get bumps and bruises healed up. Make sure that that's healed up for the for the game. I think that's critical. Is there some challenge because you've dealt with guys that maybe were gunslingers or guys that you know you tried to get to see what's happening. Now you got a guy that maybe sees too much, thinks too much a little bit, like Tyler, like that. In a way, it's easier to correct almost. Well, I mean, I don't know what I don't I don't quite gather your question about seeing too much. I mean, he, you know, he's he's been doing what we asked him to do. He's been pretty consistent. Uh, you know, uh, things we got to do is just execute. You know, I mean, I think that's the big key. It comes down to putting the guy, putting the ball in people's hands, and making it happen. I guess what I was getting at was what Dan said last week about Tyler was looking for the, maybe the grand slam when there was a, a good, just a clean base hit there and open right in front of him. Yeah, you know, at times, it, you know, for a, for a quarterback, that's a, you know, got to learn to check the ball down. But, uh, you know, I think there was some opportunities there. And, I, you know, I think last week we just didn't quite click. You know, it just wasn't in one position. There's a couple of them that we didn't click, and we got to be able to, you know, the last three games before that we clicked pretty good. And we just got to make sure we hit everyone on the cylinders. You know, it's a big game. Do you think Perkins is probably the most consistent player for you guys so far offensively? Does anybody want John Harris? Game game you know, I, I'd have to go look. I'd have to go look on the grades to make sure. You know, I mean, I, you know, I, I think he graded out really well last week. He did a nice job. So, you know, the, the thing is, we're having the ability to spell him at times, which really keeps his, his, his uh, I guess, his best shot on the field. I guess so.